Hey y'all, it's Madeline from Rocksaw Studios. And for today's Figma Fridays, I'm gonna show you how to export multiple different frames as a single PDF in Figma. So there's a few ways to do this and each of them depend on what your situation is. So the first and easiest way, um, which is mostly convenient if it so happens that um, all or most of the frames on your canvas are frames that you want to end up in your final PDF. Um, so to do that, you can go up to file and export frames to PDF. You probably know about this one. And if you know about it, you probably know that it exports all of the frames on your canvas to PDF. So um, if you're, board is very cluttered if you're anything like me and it's full of annotations and, and, and other things that you don't want in your final document. Um, it can be kind of annoying to have to go in and make edits to the PDF. So I opened up this file in preview on Mac, which makes it really easy to just remove a frame that you don't want to be there. And sadly, I'm gonna remove this frame because I don't want this in my final proposal. If you are on Windows and you don't have this built-in PDF editor, Google how to find free PDF editors. There's one I found in this article that you can find on the Microsoft Store called PDF Merger and Splitter. Uh, and you can of course use Acrobat if you happen to have Adobe Acrobat. So that's the first way. So this next way is more of a creative way. Um, and it involves creating a blank file and then just copy pasting all of the frames that you want to end up in your final document and open a new page or a new file and copy paste those into that new page and then do file export frames to PDF. So that's the second way. Um, a third and more convenient way is to use this plugin so if you go up to the browse tab and then select community um, and then search for tiny image and then click on plugins, there's a plugin called tiny image compressor. This is very convenient because of its features, but it does cost money. Um, but you do get 15 free exports using the tool. So if you're looking for a quick way to just get this done, um, maybe this is something that you can try out. Maybe you'll wanna pay for it. Maybe you'll like it that much. So to use this, I already have this one installed. So if you don't, go ahead and install it. So to use this, I'm gonna go up to plugins and tiny image compressor. And yeah, it tells me that I have 14 trial uses left. Um, so before coming here, make sure that you um, select all of the frames that you want to export and come down to click where it says export and then change this to say PDF. If I selected export nine layers, it would export them each as a separate file and we're trying to make them all into one file from the get-go using this method. Um, so I have them all as exportable. So I'm going back up to plugins and tiny image compressor. And yeah, I have them all laid out here for me. Um, if there are any on the artboard that I made exportable, that I don't want to end up in my final document, I can just uncheck those. Um, and you can raise or lower the quality to make it a smaller or larger file. And then I'm gonna hit create a PDF. And so um, I can change the order that they will appear in. Um, this happens to be in the order that I want, um, but I could drag and drop these uh, to change the order, or I could make it be left to right um, of how the frames are situated on the canvas, um, as well as a few other options. So this is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna export frames to merged PDF. So it went ahead and finished, and I can save that to my desktop. And as you can see down here, it says that it saved me 84%. Um, so it shrunk the file considerably. If I look at the size of both of these files, the one that I exported without using the plugin um, is 16.6 .6 megabytes and the uh, limit for Gmail is 25 megabytes. So that's getting close to the limit if you have more pages than this. This one is three megabytes um, without any 
real loss in quality. Looks pretty much the same. So the second creative way of doing this, if your canvas is cluttered, um, there's only a few items on your canvas that you want to end up in a PDF um, and you are either on a Mac, so you have access to the tools in preview or you have Adobe Acrobat or some other um, program on Windows where you can edit PDFs, you can do this way, which is to use the export features in Figma. So I'm excluding this last one here and uh, these are all already exportable, but if they weren't, I would just select export and I'm gonna go ahead and hit export nine layers. And like I mentioned earlier, this is going to export each layer as a separate file. So I'm gonna save them to my desktop and there they all are. So um, if you are on a Mac and you want to combine all of these files into a PDF, um, it's pretty simple to do so. So if you have more than one file selected, um, you can go down to quick actions and select create PDF. The important thing here is that the pages will end up in the order that you select them when you are highlighting these pages. So I'm gonna click, hit shift, and I selected one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then I'm gonna right click and quick actions, create PDF. And now I've got this PDF here. Looks good. And of course I can always rearrange these or delete a page if I need to. So if you're on a Mac, it's pretty convenient. All right, so those are the four ways. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.